you have people that start off with a rumor, oh, how is Rhoda able to do so much work? She must be getting more money. And then now they keep adding to it. Oh, she must be involved with the prime minister. That's why she gets more money. These things are heartbreaking. You have families involved. You have people involved. The latest I see now clip on social media is that I got pregnant for prime minister. And the reason I'm doing this clip, I'm not afraid to say it. I have realized that sadly, our politics in recent months, it's taking a turn for the nasty. It's going down a very slippery road, which is very unfortunate, very heartbreaking, especially for us as young people who have entered the space and who have been working assiduously, working hard. We have been respecting persons. We have been respecting boundaries. And, and, and I know and I've seen videos and comments, and I don't want a case because already I'm seeing some attacks on social media where, like I mentioned earlier, that I'm accused of not having done the drain properly or the NWA, the implementing agency, didn't do the drain properly. And I know we're heading into political silly season, and I do not want the mayor himself or any of his operatives to come about and to put any blame at my feet because I have done what I am supposed to do, and I want him now to do what he's supposed to do. Ah, I can understand that because the social media blogger, bloggers from your side to Rhoda and the other side, they are not afraid to lie. I, I, I mean, I mean, please, they lie with such ease. Well, you know, please, I, that is one thing I, <laughs> I, I condemn and I condemn wholeheartedly. Whether it's been done by JLP bloggers or PNP bloggers, I mean, we, we should be focusing on the real issues. Talk about the issues. You, you can support and defend, defend your, those who you support without lying, without smearing, without attacking. Mm -hmm. I mean, Chris, I would want a whole platform to come and share some of the attacks that, that, that I have had to, to endure and that I have been enduring. I see I mean, them. I wake up, I see some I wake of them. up and I see, I see, I see some, some wild accusations. You know, and, and you know, Cliff, I don't want to really get out there and say certain things now. But, you know, at the right time, I will share. But what I want to encourage other young people who are out there still do not be deterred by the negativity and, negativity and what you see happening. Because it's good people with good intentions. Step aside and Jamaica is doomed. Cliff, it is because of my love for my people and my love for my country why I'm sticking this out and I'm fighting hard. I don't know if in recent time any un other young individual have come under the kinds of attacks that I have come under and why. I came in, young person from a poor family, sold in the market with my mother to help to get a good education, have my master's degree, doing my PhD, which I've had to put on hold because of how immersed I am in this politics. I got out there. Every resource that I have gotten, I go out there and I spend it and spend it on the people. What, when we don't get enough from CDF, I reach out to ministers, I reach out to private sector. And instead of applaud the effort of the young member of parliament and aspire to, to, to some of the members of parliament are, 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 and some of those in the political arena are guilty of it too. So instead of, instead of emulate then what is good, you have people that start off with a rumor, oh, how is Rhoda able to do so much work? She must be getting more money. And then now they keep adding to it. Oh, she must be involved with the prime minister. That's why she gets more money. These things are heartbreaking. You have families involved. You have people involved. The latest I see now clip on social media is that I got pregnant for prime minister and did an abortion. Those things are hurtful. Those things are sickening. And then you have others, you know, Cliff, that take it and they run with it and they put this out there and they don't have any consideration for how these things hurt people and their family. Just last night, I saw another situation with Minister Vaz where he made a statement about the temporary ban on the right sharing until, until we are able to put certain regulations in place. And I see a youngster responded to say, this is expected coming from a sex offender. 
And, and I mean, mm. I don't want to go further into what discussions I've been had where the young man is very apologetic about what he did. And, 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 you know, we need to be careful and mindful. You're real people. And some people might wonder, you know, why didn't, why haven't I gone the, the route of lawsuit yet? When I saw them emerging around the time of um, the local election, I contemplated it. I did seek some legal advice. But you know what I said to myself, Cliff? I said, you know, let, I will suffer. I, will, I, I am willing to suffer and push through this because I know that there's no truth to it. Because if I was to come out and, and, and do, put, put forward a lawsuit, in my mind, I'm saying, you know, it would move it from the gossip channels to mainstream media. And I didn't want that for it to become a distraction to hurt the rest of candidates and to hurt the party. Mm -hmm. So I suffered through it. I battled through it. Still suffering through it because my reputation has taken a hit for it. And why? Because I decide that I'm not sharing my personal life. I don't believe I should. I, I, I reserve the right as much as I'm a public citizen. I don't need to, to be sharing certain things on social media if I don't want to. I don't need to be, be sharing my personal life to say who I'm dating or if I'm in a relationship or if I have children of my own. And in the absence of that, you know, persons came out. You know, Cliff, you know where this rumor originated to. Back when President Kagame came here, I'm not afraid to say it. It's my story. I can tell it. I was battling with fibers. And so my belly had a little bulge. And one parliamentarian from the other side made a laugh and said, look like Rhoda is pregnant. And that is where it, it, it just spiraled from there. What? It just spiraled from there. You know, and I've chosen to ignore and mm. just immerse myself in the work because the, the, while this is happening, the work of the people must go on. And I'm not going to allow any bullies mm. or anyone to weep me or to try to break my spirit. When I, if I could go to bed hungry, many nights when my mother didn't have anything to feed me and she had to tell me to lie down flat on your belly and go to your bed. And I go to school to do my exam with just my taxi fare. And I, I will live in this one bedroom with board and zinc. And I watch my mother um, fan a fire to make some porridge. And when we move to Tulsa Road and I'm in primary school, I see my mother lift up the market bag on her shoulders and go down to Santa Cruz and running from the Metro Man. And even when our bl blood pressure high, she out there. They can't break me. They're never going to break me. These things are making me stronger. And I am going to work, work, work. Work, work, and mm. work some more. Because so you have been carrying a lot. Sales, you have been carrying that, a lot. It is a lot, Cliff. It is a lot. And I decide, you know, one day I'll tell some more of the story. But there are also others, Cliff, I'm not afraid to say. It. They're threatened by the possibilities of how far I can reach in the politics and what I can achieve. Mm. And so they, they enjoy these attacks because people can't attack my work. They can't attack my integrity, right? My name is not being called up in anything else. So they figure, all right, what should we try and use? And it's very unfortunate, Cliff. If you talk to some more of the other young MPs who are females, they too, they too are, are dismayed by some of the negativities and the unfair attacks. But guess what, Cliff? If we give up now, if we turn in the towel, Jamaica is going to suffer for it. Because if persons have been fair and have been doing their assessment, the, this crop of young MPs and under the leadership of our Prime Minister and the hardworking ministers and state ministers that we have, we have been focusing on work. We have been focusing on economic advancement. If you notice, too, the PNP, they were out there for months and years, and they're just talking, talking, and saying all sorts of things. And we had been quiet. We weren't paying any attention to that. We were focused on the work, but we're now realizing that sometimes when you keep quiet and you say nothing, it is interpreted by some that it is, it is consent or that it is true, when that is not necessarily the case. Yeah. A lot of us, we suffer in silence, and we have to get up and show up and put on our pretty clothes and be out there bearing the burden of thousands. There are thousands of constituents in Manchester Central who are depending on me. So I can't break. I have to stay strong. If I buried my mother and didn't even get the time to mourn, my mother only has two of us. My little brother is in um, Northern Caribbean University, heading into his final year. 
and I had to bear, bear all of the burden of making sure she gets a good and decent send-off and to be looking after my little brother because his father doesn't have it. He's a truck driver, and so I have to be, be looking after him and keep him strong. Let me, ask you, let me ask you, Rhoda Moy, without my prompting, you have said a lot. You have said a lot, which seems to suggest to me that this has been building up inside yes. for quite a while. It, 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 not has, it has not been easy to carry Cliff. And you know why it has not been easy? Because I came in this with good intentions. Grew up in the constituency. Grew up in poverty. I have a real authentic Jamaican story. A real authentic Jamaican mother. And I come to make a difference to really serve from the bottom of my heart. And when you see people come out, people who don't even know you, and when, you know, they create stories and they try to do these things to break your spirit. I mean, Cliff, at the end of the day, you're lining up in a contest. For me, you, you, you line up, you want to win. Mm -hmm. but, but for me, if you lose, that's okay too. We shouldn't have to think we have to tear down others. We shouldn't have to try to destroy people in the process. And what, what, what some of these operatives of the PNP, what I see them doing, Cliff, it is almost as if when they're finished with you, mm -hmm. it's not only for you to lose the election, but it's as if it's a serious reputational damage that could possibly prevent you from getting work somewhere else when they do these things to you. Mm. You know, when I see Daryl Vaz, I don't know the story. I wasn't around. You know, but when I see what Daryl has had to go through and even know people who were not a part of Daryl's time or Daryl's generation can be still today accusing Daryl or, or calling him a sex offender. Those things break my heart, um, Cliff. Hold on I for me. Hold on, hold on for me, um, Rhoda Moy Crawford. She is venting. Venting. Yes, she has taken on head on some of the vilest of rumors and smears we see on social media. Yeah, but 